Excellency the President of the Republic, Head of State, I now invite you to make your speech. Mesdames, Messieurs, mes chers compatriotes. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear compatriots, first of all, I would like to highlight the great feelings of gratitude that I feel towards the powerful Creator for this very historic moment. A moment which crowns the combined efforts of the entire sovereign Chadian people. As a son of the welcoming people of Chad, I am more than overwhelmed, and we are all honored by the presence of our distinguished guests. I have named the heads of state of the delegation governments, as well as the various eminences and luminaries, who were kind enough to honor us on the occasion of this investiture ceremony. Your remarkable presence at this event testifies to the excellence of the bonds of fraternity and solidarity that unite Chadians with all their brothers on the continent, and those in the rest of the world. I would like here to pay you a vibrant tribute in my own name, and in the name of the Chadian government and people. Chad, through my voice, expresses its sincere recognition and warm thanks to all brotherly countries and partner institutions who stood by it throughout the transition. A special mention to the peace-loving Chadians who made this feat of returning to the constitutional order a palpable reality. Likewise, I express my ardent gratitude to those who grasped our outstretched hand and contributed to the success of the transition. This is the place, this is the place to be, our motherland, which is open to our compatriots who are still skeptical about regaining the mercury and participating in its resolute march on the path to development. Ladies and gentlemen, I would also like to pay tribute, pay well-deserved tribute to the role played by my dear elder, the President Félix Antoine Shisekedi, President of the Democratic Republic of Congo, and designated CAC facilitator for the transition in Chad. I instruct his eminent emissary here, my brother Minister Didier, to convey to him our infinite heartfelt thanks for the remarkable work accomplished in favor of peace and reconciliation in Chad, that the Almighty rewards us. Thank you my dear compatriots, I would like to assure you of my infinite gratitude for the trust you have placed in me by entrusting me with the destiny of our dear and beautiful country. I would like to reassure you that the contract of trust which was sealed during my oath before the Council will never be betrayed. To my brothers and sisters, who did not make their choices about me, for one reason or another, I would like to tell them that I respect your freedom of choice, 
which fully participates in the vitality of our democracy. From now on, I am the president of Chad, the president of Chadians from all backgrounds and all sensitivities. Le président des Tchadiens de tous les horizons et de toutes les sensibilités. Je l'ai dit avec toutes les. I said it with all the military required, but also with all the responsibility that comes with it. Qui en découle. J'invite. I am already inviting all my compatriots from within and from the diaspora to sign in a surge of solidarity and communion to project our country into the future and modernity. Et de communion pour projeter notre pays dans le futur et la modernité. Je rends hommage paying tribute to the democratic spirit and republican fair play of the candidates who congratulated me following the proclamation of the results. À la suite de la proclamation des résultats. Notre démocratie est sortie grandi par vos actes. Our democracy has grown through your actions, promoting respect for legality and ballot box choices. La campagne a été ardue. The campaign was involving, exhilarating, intense and colorful. This stage is now behind us. We must surpass ourselves to strengthen our democracy and build a new Chad, resolutely focused on integrated development and harmony. My dear compatriots, this return to constitutional normality opens the way to a future for our nation, following the popular will that was expressed in the ballot boxes on May 5 and 6, 2024. Our victory in the first round of the presidential election was the fruit of several contributions, and in this regard, I once again salute the coalition of 200 parties, 231 political and former politico-military parties. The 1,500 associations of civil society, all of the offices of support, and also the anonymous goodwill which carried my social project and also convinced Chadians to massively vote for me. Thanks to this trust granted by the Chadian people, we are on the path to renewal. I know that you are awaiting this new beginning with a lot of legitimate hope. I understand you perfectly. I heard your burning desire for change and I understood you. Let us all be actors, individually and collectively, committed to achieving these changes, so hoped for and expected by all. Collectivement engagé pour réaliser ces changements tant espérés, voulus et attendus par tous. Tant à moi. I am fully aware of the great changes that our people aspire to, and that we must make during this mandate as we go along. In short, we all want a future in God's hands for our country and together we will achieve it, God willing. My dear compatriots, priority in our next actions will be given to issues related to socio-economic development, desire to raise the level of the well-being of our compatriots to higher levels. Le niveau du bien-être de nos compatriotes. À cet effet, to this end, 70% of public spending will be devoted to improving access to education, water, health, energy, and food sovereignty. À l'eau, à la santé, à l'énergie et à la souveraineté alimentaire. social amenities and also decent housing for the populations. This is why I will focus on housing, which is the primary need of every household. 
Chadians, Chadians, as we all know, the two pillars of our economy are agriculture and livestock. These fundamentals are put, are highlighted in my political program. Better still, I mean a real dose of modernization in our mode of production in these two sectors on which the present and future of Chad essentially depends. To do this, we will put in place reforms and financing to increase productivity through the establishment of a dedicated national fund. The ultimate objective of this effort is naturally to achieve the food sovereignty that our compatriots are calling for. Chadians, the programs you have chosen aim at a fundamental change in the mode of production and marketing of livestock products, leading to a revolution in the mentality and way of life of breeders. Livestock processing will be modernized thanks to the construction of the slaughterhouses that we have launched as part of the economic and special zone projects, and will be labeled and exported throughout the world. This optimal exploitation will help generate more income and jobs for our unemployed. Chadians, my dear compatriots, the immense infrastructure construction project will be continued and strengthened. We need an even denser road network, and during the five-year term, it is planned to double the mileage of asphalt roads to reach 7,000 kilometers. This loop will allow connection to the road network of neighboring countries. In terms of mining, we will have to open construction sites on the fields identified as promising to us. By associating ourselves with private capital like the rural sectors, we will seek diversification to guarantee the legality of our revenues, create jobs and services. My dear compatriots, I will continue to work for a more efficient health system that's close to the patient's loved ones and their needs. Free essential care for mother and child will be guaranteed. The construction of hospitals and health centers will be continued with the objective of one district hospital per department. Our primary care network will be strengthened, so that it becomes the most reactive preventive health system at the service of citizens. Our objective is to create a territorial network of health services, allowing each Chadian to access to quality care. With regard to the reform of our educational system, which represents the fourth project of my political program, I will proceed with the establishment of an educational approach, which reads knowledge and duty. Once again, I dream of the cardinal importance that each child of our nation must have an education which opens the door to the future, and which contributes to making each student a model citizen. I am committed to transforming our education system into a reference model, a system that prepares our youth to meet the challenges of tomorrow, and to actively participate in the education of a country that is also progressive. Profound reforms will be carried out to give new impetus to training, higher education and scientific research. 
The training that will be provided to young people must be fully in line with the real needs of the job market. My dear compatriots, equity, justice, transparency and inclusion will be the foundations of all our actions in this area for the sustainable and harmonious development of our country. Such development necessarily implies the active participation of Chadian women, clairvoyants, and the young women of our country. It represents this other force on which I am counting to bring more dynamism to Chad's economy. The government will continue the policy of credit training and support for young people and women to help them take charge of themselves, create businesses or cooperatives and actively participate in building their country. To women who work in the public service or are preparing to enter, I reaffirm my commitment to favor their promotion. Likewise, young people who prove themselves in administration will benefit from promotions commensurate with their work and their skills. Chadians, my dear compatriots, it is obvious that no new project of a nation can succeed if its elites do not show seriousness. If the region does not enjoy full security, or if the country is not at peace to strengthen unity, peace and stability in our country, we will continue to emphasize dialogue, both at the political level and at the social level. Faced with the conflicts that are shaking our neighbors, it would be illusory to hope to have internal security without external security, because the enemy does not take borders into account, and the security of a neighboring country will have consequences on neighboring countries. It is vital for us to remain vigilant and united with other countries to deal with terrorists. Domestically, we will intensify our efforts to strengthen the workforce and modernize internal security, services and strengthen the capabilities of our army to better protect our borders. Chadian, Chadians, my dear compatriots, Chad believes in the virtues of an active and mutually beneficial partnership which will be the lifeblood that fuels our diplomacy. As it appears in the construction of my political program, Chad, respectful of its international commitments, will fully assimilate its place in the concert of nations, and the sovereignty of the Chadian people will never be negotiable. The interest of Chad will be defended with force and conviction. It will be, above all other considerations, I am convinced that Chad and Africa must be masters of their destiny. Chadian, Chadians, as you wanted, this mandate will be marked with the seal of action and unfailing efficiency. We will not be able to meet the challenge of excellence if profound changes are not made in the mysteries of the state and public administration. 
Harmful practices that undermine quality, yield and performance must be fought forcefully and firmly. Decentralization will be implemented from the first moments of my mandate so that we can bring the administration closer to the legislative elections. The senatorial and local legislative elections must also be organized as soon as possible. In terms of good management and orthodoxy financial practices, I am committed to reducing the state's lifestyle, stepping up the fight against embezzlement and corruption, strengthening the control and restrictions of revenue and defense circuits, as well as the mechanisms of public procurement. Faithful to my commitment that I made before God and the people during the electoral campaign, I will do everything possible to carry out my social project, divided into 12 projects and broken down into 100 concrete actions, with the help of God and the assistance of all the living forces of our country. Avec le concours de toutes les forces vives de notre pays. La nouvelle page de l'histoire de notre pays que nous voulons. The new page in the history of our country that we want to engrave on the stone is new behavior and new attitudes. Chers compatriotes. Dear compatriots, the Fifth Republic is the reign of a new consciousness for a revolution of mentality and behavior. I invite you through this social contract to shoulder together because we want to raise a peaceful and united chant. Chadians, Excellencies, I thank you for the trip you made to Jarmena, hoping that you had a pleasant but brief stay in the country of Toma. I wish you a safe return to your respective homes. I assure you once again of the desire for peace, friendship and fraternity of the Chadian people, as well as our determination to build with you a Chad of its time and faithful to its ancestors, who gave everything. A joyful, peaceful and admired Chad within Africa, more united and prosperous than ever. Finally, I would like to convey my fraternal and warm thanks to all the mobilization teams, the police, the protocol, the presidential press, the national and international presidential press, the catering teams, the land and air transport teams, the moderators of meetings and ceremony, technicians of various categories, hostesses and storytellers, interpreters and translators, medical teams, close guards, caregivers, volunteers and all the students. In short, thank you to all those who have contributed more or less to this great success, God bless you. God bless Chad, God bless the Avenue.